River Horse Limited has a title that looks fun to me, and maybe it'll look fun to you as well. Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the board game. This is good for one to five players ages six and up, and should be played within 60 to about 120 minutes. Give me the child. Though dangers untold and hardships unnumbered, I have fought my way here to the castle beyond the goblin city to take back the child that you have stolen. For my will is as strong as yours, and my kingdom as great. Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the board game, is a beautiful exploration of the movie where one to five players adventure through the labyrinth and make their way to the goblin city to save Toby from Janeth, the Goblin King. The board is very simplistic, beautifully illustrated and dominated by the titular labyrinth. This is the maze that the players must navigate every time they wish to save Saturn's baby brother. Each game is different, with the blank card spaces being filled with magical encounters and monsters that are depicted on the deck of cards that come with the game. This ensures a great deal of replayability and unpredictability in the game, giving Labyrinth its signature feel. The game consists of two distinct stages. One in which the group must adventure through the labyrinth trying to find the Goblin City whilst keeping their willpower as high as possible. Nobody wants to fall into the oubliette. And a second stage in which the players must fight their way to Jarvis Castle, where Sarah must say the magic words that will release her brother. I gotta say, this right up sounds pretty much just as epic as the Jim Henson classic is. This seems to deliver the weight and gravitas of the movie itself. Indeed, uh, what looks to me, anyway, I haven't tried this yet, obviously, which is why I still have my gaming radar. I mean, this definitely looks, feels, and reads as if it is a wonderful adaptation of that 80s classic Muppet slash David Bowie movie. And uh, reading about this, I see that the you can play the game... Uh, on your own. I don't mean solo, though it can be played solo. I mean, even in a group, you can play on your own and do your thing and try to try to save uh, the brother and, and, and win the game. But you can also team up. I'm reading that if, if two players' characters land on the same spot, then from that point forward, they can act together. They can travel the labyrinth together. Of course, they'll be using the, the lesser movement of the two, uh, but they'll be able to combine uh, their, their skill dice to overcome obstacles. Uh, I'm really liking the way this feel is. You know, you could, you could just stay on your own, or you can actually be part of a team and things are going to feel and play differently. So, yeah, I mentioned that you're going to have to use the movement of the slower player. This is a roll and move game. I know that puts some people off, and it really shouldn't. There's nothing really inherently wrong with a roll and move game. And this uses it to a good effect, especially like I just said about the teaming up, so it can alter and change the dice that are being used for your, for your movement. The dice are also used for challenges. This game uses a series of cards, and the, and the deck of the cards will have challenges. There are times during the game that you will have to overcome something whether alone or or with someone else, and you're gonna have to roll the dice to do this. I love that system, it's a great simple system. It's a system of gaming mechanics that, that everybody pretty much knows. If you've played even just a couple of games in your life, you, you're used to this concept, and that makes the rules that much easier, not only to learn, but then to teach to other people. And that gets more people playing the game faster and more often. <laughs> I mean, looking at the components of this game, everything looks great. The miniatures really do look beautiful. They really seem to evoke the the, the true uh, sense and soul of the character that they are portraying from the movie. I really do enjoy looking at everything I've seen about this game. I can only imagine that that would continue once it's on the table. A great game to just eyeball. Nice little eye candy. And I've also noticed that it isn't all illustrations that they use. That uh, a lot of the uh, things in the in the game, like the cards, have actual pictures ripped from the movie itself. And this is further sucking you into the game. It is bringing you into this thematic world to an even greater sense. 
I think overall, even if someone isn't aware of the movie, hasn't seen the movie, doesn't know the movie, they can still enjoy this game. But quite obviously, if you have seen the movie, you're probably going to really dig the game a lot more. But that's what I think about it from what I've seen, what I've read, what I've heard. And I wanted to pass that on to you. I just wanted to inform you a little bit about this game. So go, go find out a little bit more and see what you think for Jim Henson's Labyrinth, the board game.